Today, it's time to do some updates about DJI. We're going to talk about the DJI Goggles 3. We're going to talk about the leaks of the Goggles N3, and we're going to talk about O4. Okay, so to start, we're going to talk about DJI Goggles 3 in combination with O3. This week, DJI have pushed an update out for the Goggles 3 that resolves the reconnection issue when used with the O3 ear unit. A couple of weeks ago, I published a big letter to DJI highlighting a specific issue that was the Goggles 3 would not reconnect to the O3 ear unit in the event of signal loss unless you disarmed the aircraft. This issue, I believed, was a dangerous one. And in fact, I went as far as to say that I don't believe you should fly the Goggles 3 with the O3 ear unit as a result of this. DJI last week pushed out a beta firmware to some limited testers that seemed to resolve the issue and they have now released firmware version 01.00.0500 for the Goggles 3 that does fix this issue for users. Just to be clear, this is just a firmware update for the Goggles 3. There is no update for the O3 e unit. And in my testing, the Goggles 3 now work with the O3 e unit exactly as expected. The Goggles will reconnect to the O3 e unit as soon as the signal comes back. And in fact, I'd go as far as to say, I think the reconnection behavior now is faster than it ever was before. So I'm pleased to be able to say that this issue is now resolved. Resolved. I have no problems recommending people use the Goggles 3 in combination with the O3 e unit as long as you have updated the firmware. Now, alongside the lack of reconnection, there were also people reporting random loss of signal on the Goggles 3 when used with the O3 as well. It's hard to say at this moment in time if DJ have resolved this. We still don't know if it was the same issue just manifesting itself in different ways, or was it simply random? random loss of signals that was being highlighted a lot more as a result of the reconnection issue. I've done some basic testing on this and it's been a few days since this firmware came out and overall so far reports of issues are minimal. People are getting good performance now from the Goggles 3 with the O3 ear unit. I can't say for sure DJ have absolutely fixed the random loss of signal issue, but what I can say is that this system will reconnect now on the event of signal loss, so that in itself may mean that problem has gone away. Now, alongside this big issue, I also highlighted a number of other problems in my letter to DJI as well. As of today, as I've said, there has been no firmware update for the O3 ear unit, and I have no information on if DJI are going to take on board any of these other issues. These are things such as the iNav OSD, the lack of power settings, and the low power mode behavior on the O3 ear unit. Now, from my perspective, I am pleased this issue has been resolved, but I still have some real fundamental issues with the way DJI have behaved around this. First of all, with regards to the release notes, DJI have not even acknowledged that they have fixed this issue. They have simply said they have resolved some known issues with the O3e unit. These release notes do not inspire any confidence that they've actually fixed the problem. All they are saying is, hey, we've done something and it's been left to users to go out there and test this to see if it's actually working properly. Furthermore, I contacted DJI originally via letter. I posted that letter on their website. I sent it to their PR department and I published it on my channel as well. Initially, they did respond to me saying that this would be looked into. And I also had a number of other people at DJI reach out to me just to say, hey, this is being looked at. However, since then, I have had no contact with DJI at all. They did not inform me that they were going to be releasing a beta. When I asked for access to the beta, my email emails were ignored and DJI support refused. And as of today, I have had no official response from DJI to my letters to their PR department to say that this issue has been resolved. Whilst I am pleased that DJI have fixed this, in my opinion, they remain today to be one of the most untrustworthy brands in drones and FPV. And whilst they do make
make great products with regards to offering consumer satisfaction, consumer confidence, and working with people to actually resolve issues, DJI remain one of the worst that I have dealt with, period. They refuse to work with me on this channel, and they are behaving completely unprofessionally in the way that they are not addressing these issues publicly with users. There are a number of reasons probably why they don't want to do this, but they could have at least responded to say, hey, this problem has now been fixed. So overall, the issue is fixed, but DJI remain to be DJI and a brand that you should really only trust with what you can see and touch and not for one moment anything that they've said they may do in the future. Next, moving on to 04 and the Goggles N3. And this week, there have been a number of leaks around these new products. To start, we're going to talk about the Goggles. This week, Jasper Ellings at X27 has showed us the first public images of the DJI Goggles N3. Now, if you don't know what these are, this is set to be DJI's new budget goggle designed to be used with the DJI Neo and as well as we believe the DJI O4 system. Now, it isn't clear at this moment in time if it's going to work with O3 or the earlier ear units. My personal expectation is, yes, it will work with O3, but it won't work with the early ones, and it will follow the compatibility that we have with the Goggles 3 as it is today. Now, when you look at these goggles, they are very much a love child of the original V1, V2s and the goggles Integra. You can see that they are a bigger goggle. They feature a single LCD display rather than dual OLEDs. You can see we have a battery built in on the head strap at the back. You've got similar controls to the Integra and Goggles 3 here. And these are designed to be a lower cost entry level goggle from DJI for getting people into FPV. After this, Jasper has also released some further images, also talking about price as well. You can see the goggles here in a bit more detail. We've got a power button down the side there, micro SD and USB on the top, and then a big foam face mask around there with the power cable now externally going down to the battery at the back. It is very reminiscent of the V2s and the Integras or the Goggles 3 and it's going to really offer an option for people who don't want to be spending a lot more money on an OLED goggle like this. Now, price-wise, they are said that they're going to be coming in at about €269 Euros for the goggles themselves, or they're going to be available in a Neo Combo Pack for €529. That's the Neo Drone with the goggles included. I'm expecting that to mean they're going to be coming in at around $299 US dollars. I always had it in my head that these goggles would be sub $300. I wasn't quite expecting the $199 sub $200 price of the Goggles L from Cadex. It's a budget goggle from DJI, but DJI budget is not the same as budget like you might see from other brands. Other than that, there isn't a great deal to show you here and now. The believed release date for this is going to be early November. At the moment, it's saying the first week, so we're going to have to wait and see. And hopefully, I'll get a set in as soon as they're released to talk about them on the channel. Now, alongside the goggles, there's also whispers around the new upcoming O4e unit, and I'm pleased to be able to share with you a bit of an exclusive look at what to expect. Now, here is an artist's impression of what the new O4e unit will look like. My understanding is it's going to be sort of in two sections. You've got the bottom section, which is a square a bit with a smaller heatsink piece on the top. Now, I don't know the size, but I believe it is shorter than the O3. My personal belief is it is still going to have to be dual PCB. I think it's going to be very, very hard for DJI to make a single board O4e unit. They still need to have the S2 chipset. They still need the E3T. They still need the RF front end, the power amplifiers, the MUX power distribution. There's a lot that DJI still need in this ear unit and getting it onto a single board is going to be very, very hard. They would have to go wider than lower to be able to get it on a single board. And I even think even getting it onto something like a 40mm square board could be a challenge. 
Not impossible, but I think what DJ will do is shrink it down again. There's still quite a bit of wasted space inside the O3 ear unit when you look at it, and I think DJ would be able to get a couple of mil off this if they really tried. That isn't to say, though, I'm not wrong and DJ haven't been able to pull a rabbit out of the hat and manage to get it all onto a single board solution to really start to directly compete with the likes of Cadex on the Avatar HD system. Alongside this, we also now know that there is going to be two versions of the O4 ear unit released. There's going to be a Pro version and a light or standard version. Now, my understanding is the Pro is going to be using the better camera, something like the camera from the Vata 2. It's going to be a bit bigger, but it should still conform into the same 20 by 20 sizing, just be a little longer rather than wider. We also then have a new light version, but there isn't a lot of information around that. We don't know if the VTX element between the two is the same and it's just the cameras that different or if DJI are actually going to produce two separate units to directly compete with the likes of HD Zero, CADEX, and offer a much more compatible solution, especially when it comes to smaller quads. Now, there is no confirmed price spec or availability, although, whereas I've said in the past, I don't think you'll see it this year, that has changed and it now does feel a lot more imminent than it has before. The whispers are that the new Goggles N3 will be around the first week of November and there is a very real possibility that O4 could launch at the same time, although there is no confirmation of that. It does seem to be the case, though, that things are ramping up and there's a very real chance we will see it before the year ends. So... That's it. That's everything we know right now. I'm pleased that this issue is resolved. I have no issues recommending Goggles 3, but never forget, DJI continues to behave like a petulant child, refuses to work with people in a reasonable manner and provide honest information to users about the issues that they have with their products. That's it from me. If you found this video useful, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buying me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons we're able to keep making content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons. We'd not be able to keep doing this without your support. Anyway, that's it for me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.